I did a lot of research for what a second AC should have since this was my first time on a real set. My work gloves did come in handy with 2x4s for vent splinters, and that headlamp could be hands-free and had various lumens choices. This really helped on the slate because then I could also take the dry erase marker and put it between the folds. This is one of two Leathermans, so I could have someone either help me, or if I was using it, I had a second one. I ended up using a, um, a lot of that blue tape, and that glow-in-the-dark duct tape was very helpful too. And I ended up adding a non-adhesive orange tape for taping up for actors to focus on so that they didn't look directly at the camera. Inside my energy pouch, I have mostly energy for humans, but I also have my USB to wall plug, so that way we could utilize something more than just USB ports in all the technology that we had, including some laptops. These Gatorade shoes are for mostly runners for long distance, but they were also really helpful since we were moving around a lot all day for an entire weekend. This is my main pouch. I found that everything that I could possibly need was in this one pouch, but that just worked for this small set. Tape measure that had nine feet in it was very helpful. That empty plastic bag we used for screws when we removed a door from a frame. And of course, ibuprofen for when you get those headaches after the long days. I found that we didn't really use the pencils as much, but I wanted to bring a few so I didn't have to fumble with lead. And then the pens, <clears throat> people mostly used, but we didn't really use very many. I didn't have any zeros, so I brought some easy twist ties and some zip ties that are easily cut. And then some small med pack. So some Alka-Seltzer for some throats, some gum to chew when we were doing MOS, and some band-aids just so I had them on me in case we needed them. Inside the pouch you'll see that I'll pull out a thing of Starburst. That's the easiest thing to make a lot of people happy. It's easily shareable. Our script and scene setup were really well printed out. and We didn't really need post-it notes, but in case of any flags, I had them just in case someone needed them. Kleenex came in handy, especially for some glasses. And then two different kinds of dry erase for each individual roll. And a black marker that I ended up using on the blue tape to set up the different types so I didn't have to have different types of setup. So if the marker was for the star and the marker was for the secondary actor, then I would put stars on the literal tape on the ground. There's the second Gerber. We didn't end up using the, loose, the super glue, but I had it just in case. Floss and the tampon were mostly for medical in case anything was needed, but I was able to not need it. And in case another female on set needed something, I got her covered. Overall, I do think that I was very well prepared. There was only like one or two times that I didn't have something on me, and that ended up being real duct tape. So I just borrowed the first AC. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.